the peaks of the Alaska Range, trod by the hooves of wild sheep. For host and author Chris Dorsey, a dream renewed. For 70-year-old guide Bob Graham, another mountain to climb. And for a white monarch, a throne of rocks and crags. You come to Alaska, you look at this country, and to some people it's just a vast, open nothing. And to other people, like me, hunters especially, it's everything. I mean, this is the land people dream about. Alaska, the great frontier. It, it, it's a frontier of hunting, but it's also a frontier, I think, of the spirit. When you get into this wilderness, in a wilderness this size, you can't help but be humbled. I mean, it's just, it's, a, it's something that speaks to you, and, and very often you just sit and you look and you absorb, and, and the silence is, is everything. What power are your glasses, Chris? 10s, 10 by 42s. I mean, I can't, I can't make you out. You can't make out. I can see uh, horn, but I can't make the, out that detail. The guy detail. on the right, right now, looks like he's pretty heavily boomed on his left. He's an older sheep, there's no question on that. I really would like the guy on the left to get to feeding again so we can move up closer. Here. But if he goes over that, you go up on the left side of this point here? Uh, yeah. And then pop over? Yeah, and, and pop around level yeah. with him or a little bit above. Well, I tell you, I'm not seeing any other sheep, period, so. We want to play with this guy for a while. Yeah. And it's just good to know that you can come and hunt a place like this and experience something that Russell Annabelle and the old time writers used to write about and the painters used to come and, and paint and draw and, and Teddy Roosevelt used to wax about and it's this, this sense that it's always been this way in geologic time, nothing's changed here. And it's just good to know there's a, a piece of the planet where it's still the same. This piece of the planet lies in the mountain range named by the explorer William Dahl, for whom the white sheep is named. As Chris Dorsey wings into the sheep camp of Alaska trophy hunts, he's actually flying back in time to a hunt unfinished. You know, it's been almost 15 years since I did a sheep hunt. When I first did my British Columbia stone sheep hunt, I mean, it was a brutal hunt. And uh, I finally got that sheep. And it was the most rewarding hunt I had ever done at that point. Shortly after I did the stone sheep hunt, I then went back to Alaska, really wanted to hunt doll sheep. The very first day we got into a, a ram that was legal because he was fully broomed. He was broomed in half on one side, and on the other side broomed about three quarter. You know, a legal ram, yes, but was it really a trophy day one of the hunt? And talked a long time with a guy, and he said, no, I don't think I would take him on day one. We could probably find one that's, that's more fully formed, not busted up like he is. And of course, the weather came in. We had heavy clouds and rain, and we just couldn't even see the sheep at that point. So that was the extent of my hunt. So 15 years later, I finally made it back to Alaska, and the chance to hunt doll sheep again was really a gift. For Dorsey, it's a mix of anticipation and apprehension as the bush plane bounces down on the big balloon tundra tires. The grand slam of North American sheep consists of the bighorn and the desert bighorn to the south, and this northern country is the habitat of the thinhorn sheep, divided into the stone sheep of British Columbia and the doll of the Yukon, Northwest Territories, and Alaska. In Alaska, a legal doll sheep ram must be full curl, with the tip of the horn circling back around to the horn's base. The sheep must also be eight years old, the age determined by the number of annular rings on the horns, a new growth ring added to the horn each year. Here we go, let's see if this bad boy's still on. The T3, let's have the T3 bark, the gun of the people, baby, and we got the eliminator, new Burris eliminator on it. You know, if ever there was a reason for stainless barrels and synthetic stocks, it was Alaska. I mean, the weather conditions up here, you might as well forget about testing outdoor products anywhere but Alaska. Having the T3 stainless synthetic gun, you know, I've got a 30 out six, I've used this gun all over the world, incredibly confident in that gun because the trigger is incredible. The accuracy is truly unbelievable for a factory rifle. I mean, and to take it on a premium hunt, like a sheep hunt, is exactly what you want to do because you need that stainless synthetic combination in these kinds of weather conditions, you don't have to worry about it. You can guarantee it's gonna rain, it's gonna sleet, it's probably gonna hail, it's probably gonna snow. Temperature extremes fluctuating widely, so the stock doesn't expand. Those are all reasons why you, you really have to have a stainless synthetic gun here in Alaska. And then you're talking about long range shooting, or at least the potential of long range shooting when you're talking about sheep hunting. So that's why you need a laser 
range-finding scope. And the Eliminator by Burris is really an ideal combination. You put the two of them together and you've got the ultimate mountain combo. Now it's time for Dorsey to see if he can put that combo to the test as he and guide Bob Graham climbed their first meeting with the white sheep. How far are they? I can't tell you for sure, but I'm eyeball myself a hundred yards. Wow, close. Right now I can only see the one. I can't see the other one, he's bedded out of sight. I can only get seven growth rings. And he's not quite full curl, he's not growing. All right. You want to go back and get out of sight and climb up? See yeah. what we come up with that? Why not? Want to try and get up on these or you want to just no, I have think, a look at those two way down? Yeah, I think seeing what we have now with sheep on both sides, that we'll go ahead and go down here, work our way up the bottom and get a good look at what those guys are. Three rams. Yeah. The bottom one's a ram? Yep. The two up above it are rams. Oh, he's beyond range. The other ones are to the left. Are you seeing them? No, I just know that's yeah. the only one yeah. that's gone over. Gone that way. The rest of them there. Nope, 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 nope. He's the only one. Oh, I just can't tell. He sure is heavy though. Look at that. Look at that weight all the way down. Definitely the best sheet we've seen this far. Oh, got him at almost four, three ninety. There he goes. Can't make it out, huh? No, he's definitely not full curl. No, I'm getting that good. He was just right down here. He was in that next. If we'd have kept walking, we'd have walked right on top of him. God. You want to try and get up there? Oh, no, no we'll never, never close on there. Bob Graham, a mere 70 years old, knows from decades of guiding that they will just have to watch these rams walk away. Now, Alaska's skies come into play. The weather's starting to come in. It starts getting foggy. We have clouds coming in. We keep climbing up the mountain. And finally, the, the rain's starting to come, and it's just fog and, and clouds and rain and just ugly, nasty. And the whole valley, basically, as we got up there where the sheep had gone, is covered. Let's get right over here on these rocks and sit down and wait and see if this fog will lift. He's got to be in this bowl somewhere. We'd have seen him come out otherwise. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure he's still in here, but we'll just have to. All right. Wait for the fog. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, this should be a good spot right in here. here. If he shows up, we'll have a chance. It's thick, thick, thick up there. I mean, there's just no way he got out of this bowl. I, we should have seen him. There he is, right there, right there, right yep. there, right there. That's him. It's got to be here. Get, get right over here. You got range on I can't, I can't get it in the fall yet. Um, no, I can't either. The dark spot beside the rock that he's above okay. is 409. So he's got to be 500. Uh, it's got to be four feet over his back at five. All right, when it clears, I'm going to try him, okay? I'm going to try him. Ready? Here we go. go. Hey. Good <laughs> shot. Good shot. You got that was me. four, just over four feet over his back. Look at that. Look at him roll. That was every bit of 500 yards right there. Yeah, for sure. Hey. Good deal. All right, you might carry me out. the work starts. <laughs> Get up there. We should be up there another half hour. The whole valley, basically, as we got up there where the sheep had gone, is covered. It's just fog and and clouds and rain and finally we look up and, and there's the sheep just through the clouds. You can see him silhouetted up on top of the, the mountain, 
hundreds of yards, probably a thousand yards up there, but spectacular nonetheless. Clearly our ram, the only one around, and then the clouds come through and he just sort of disappears. And it's, it's like he was a ghost. Finally, the clouds lift again and we see him and he's easing up the valley and he wasn't spooked. He was just sort of walking up the valley. I'm not an advocate of long range shooting, but I've practiced out to five, 600 yards for this hunt and I uh, just get a steady rest on it. And it was very tough in that fog to get the lasers to go through, but we get a range at about 409 yards, well below him, at least 100 yards below him. So I'm calculating the bullet drop and the eliminator scope is a great tool on long range shots like this. And Bob's like, hey, if you're comfortable with that shot, take that shot. So I tried it. Get right behind the heart. And we had our sheep. Look at that. We got some wings there. Oh, yeah. Let's come to Two, three, He's four, 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 five, five anyway. six, seven, eight. 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 eight and right on the money. Way to go. Buddy. Tell you what, this is why you train, man. Getting one of these babies. What a beautiful sheep. Well, buddy, it's been great to hunt with you, man. I mean, well, hunt here. with the legend. <laughs> I heard a lot of stories about you when I heard the whole description about it. Well, he's he's going to be 70 years old. I said, well, I think I I hope I can keep up to him, but it was uh, it was all I could do to keep <laughs> up to you. <laughs> uh, you did you did well. A dream of doll sheep that was a dream deferred has become a dream fulfilled.